Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today's video, I'm going to be doing a look using the Juvia's Place 4 Pan Palettes. So if you want to see what I create and what my thoughts are, just keep on watching. All right, so <clears throat> um, I'm gonna try and use both of these because I can't. I couldn't pick just one. I was having trouble with that. But these palettes are so pretty, and not only that, like ju it's Juvia's Place. Like, how can you go wrong with Juvia's Place? Like, they have such good pigments in their palettes, and then you're getting a four pan. Like, that's not bad. And I think. Let me double check because I'm not sure how much it was. I think they were only like $10, which you can't beat. Yeah, they're only $10 and these, so the Gemini palettes, well, the Zodiac and pretty much all of the ColourPop's, ColourPop's four pan palettes are pretty much around the same price and this is what you're getting for this one but then you know what hold up hold up I'm gonna get the Leo palette because I want you to see how similar these colors are okay so with the Juvia's Place this palette particularly you don't you only get one shimmer which is okay, like I'm not upset about that. You only get really one shimmer, and I only really use one shimmer. I don't really use two different shimmers in one look sometimes. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. And then this is what ColourPops look like. They have the same color scheme. <laughs> the only difference is, is that ColourPop has an extra shimmer shadow, and Juvia's Place does it. Like, look how similar they are. And you get more for your money than you would with this. Like, I'm not sure, maybe, but if you look at the pan size, like, the obviously the pan size is bigger here and smaller here. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You figure that out if you want to figure that out. But, honestly, I'm really liking the fact that this one's a lot bigger. So, but I do like these because you can travel with them easier than these because these are still a little big so you could probably just get away with getting one of these um and taking them like traveling like if you're gonna go overseas or you know just go across the country or you know just going to spend time with your family i don't know but i really do like it because it's small enough to travel with now with the juvia's place they are small but they're not small at the same time so it's kind of like yeah you really I wouldn't really want to travel with it but if that was the only palette that I had that was small then yes I would end up just taking it with me but yeah I'm gonna show you the green one in just a sec let me put these back in their little boxes because I'm not sure if I'm gonna even keep them I think I'm gonna just give them to my sister or something all right so now this is the Juvia's Place, um, the green one, um, I think it's the Rebel Army, I guess that's what it's called, yeah, I guess it's the Rebel Army, and then this one was the Rebel Honey, so I'm gonna try to use both of these today, so I'm going to try the, um, I'm gonna do the thing again. I'm drinking my, you know, shake in the morning. Because it's 8.47 in the morning. Yeah, I'm up. Um, so I'm going to just prime my eyes. I'm going to prime one at a time because I do have my fan going and it dries it out pretty fast. So I'm just going to tap this in. <clears throat> I'm 
gonna try to use these colors like together because it is fall colors and I love fall colors as you guys know I'm all sitting here trying to find my mirror my little heart mirror and it's literally under the palette how didn't I see that we'll technically under the box let's move all of this over here all right now I'm not sure all right so I think I'm going to take this shadow right here and I'm going to put that once I find my haha uh -huh. wipe her off I hope that wasn't the wet side. That definitely was the wet side. <sighs> oh, crazy. Okay, so I gotta hold it with the other hand. Alright, so I'm gonna take, I like I said, I'm gonna take that light um, brown shade. And I'm gonna just go right here. Wait until you see how good these pigments are. Like, that is good pigment. So that looks okay. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you have to put it on your eye and I feel like I'm going to an eye doctor's appointment and it kind of like feels weird. So I'm going to just leave it like this really quick and I'm trying to think of what I want to do and I kind of want to take damn it I w this is the times when I wish I had another brush exactly like this I gotta wipe it off now every single time I'm about to use it okay so now I'm actually gonna take this shadow right here and I'm gonna take this spoon and put it like that and go right here this is so weird it's so weird Let's blend those two together I'm gonna just take the brown again. And I'm just going to do go over this. I think I'm kind of liking that. Okay. 
so now I think I'm trying to debate on which one I want to do first so I'm gonna go in with this brown right here and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner I'm tapping it on Being careful with that line together with that, fan it up here, just look at that pigment, like look how great this is, and now I'm gonna just start blending the shadows over here together, you can see that. And now I'm going to take the darker green and put it right here and I'm going to mix these two together these I'm gonna to mix together mixing these to get the shadow that I'm looking for And now I'm going to just bring it up here so that way it's all blending right there together. So we don't have that harsh line, you know, that line that we're all looking at. Yeah, that. Oh, perfect. That looks good. Just trust the process. Trust it. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to fan that. Since I have that shadow there, I'm going to actually take this brush, which is my E7 brush, and I'm going to take that brown again by itself, and I'm just going to fan it like that to bring this harsh line together. I'm going to this. See so what that looks like. I'm gonna come uh, right here. Like look, oh, look how good these shimmers go on. And this is not like applying any water or any wet base to 
make it more vibrant. I, I don't normally do that. Alright, so I'm not sure how I'm liking this green right there. So let me fix that. But I'm going to fix this brown to blend it in with the shimmer here. What you gotta do is really go back and forth just to blend it. So there you go. Now I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a, that previous light brown shade. And I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to take some of that dark brown. And blend that from there. I'm going to take this. You know, that's the fluffy brush. And I'm going to just do that. That looks kind of better. I'm just going to add a little bit of this dark brown right here. Tap that going downwards. So it looks like at least it's blending in. That looks kind of weird, but I'm going to just leave it like that because there's no, I don't want to keep mess, messing with it. So I'm going to just take a little bit of that green and brown again and come down here to blend this together down here. Let me just leave that like that. That green was not a really good idea. But whatever. I'll get fixed. Alright, so I'm just going to go off camera and come back with the other side done. And we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the completed look. Sorry, you're going to hear noises upstairs. Everybody's like always doing something. But yeah, so this is the completed look. I did go in with the um, L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour um, fresh wear. I went in with this. I think it's actually a little too light for me. But I'm gonna, I actually can make it work. Um, I do like it. And since it's nice outside, it's not so hot. It's cool. It's starting to go into like the fall weather. So I figured I could put this on and wear it throughout the day. But uh, yeah, so this is the completed look. I love these palettes. I love this brand in general. It has such good payout in makeup. Like their their shadows are great. Like I love their shadows. Their showers shadows are very pigmented. They do go on very nice and this is this this is what makes it even better. Like right here was like legit patchy and I actually all I had to do was keep you know fanning it out. So I'm actually happy with this look. It did come out very nice. I did put a little wing liner just to like, you know, see what it would look like with it. I did not put any lashes on because I'm trying not to wear them. Um, but it kind of sucks because I just bought a whole bunch of lashes from Ulta because they had them on sale for six bucks and it's the House of Lashes. And I really like the House of Lashes. So I decided to just buy a bunch of them. So yeah. But other than that, I do like... The palettes they are very beautiful i really do like them there is two other ones that i want to get but i haven't had the chance to get them yet but yes so i really do like them they blend out great and again they're ten dollars you can't beat that so go for it go grab them and let me know what you think of them inside the comments uh, but yeah, so I will be back very soon. I do have another palette that I do want to review. So you will be having a new video coming up. I will probably hopefully do that by either tomorrow or the next day because I still have assignments due and it's just one assignment that the teacher needs to put the answers to the survey that I took so I can actually complete the assignment. But yeah, 
she hasn't done that yet. So I'm gonna definitely try and do that very soon. Um, and then I do have more palettes coming. So yeah, I will be back very soon. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe and click the notification button down next to it to get all my future uploads. I'll be back very soon. And I hope everybody has a good, week a good weekend. <laughs> Bye.